Naturally beautiful, naturally beautiful, naturally beautiful. Hi my loves, I'm coming to you today with another braid video. I figured I would just come through and show you one of my favorites. Now this wig is from Jaleesa Hair and this wig is absolutely gorgeous. It's made with human hair so it doesn't tangle and inside the box you get all of the paperwork with the type of wig that you have and then there's a little thank you card in there and a return card as well so just in case you want to return your wig you can return it but you can't cut the, any of the lace off of it or anything like that you get a little wig cap and then you get a melting band so you do get quite a bit in this box so yeah those are some lashes they're really really cute dramatic but they're very cute and then here is a bag to store your wig in and it has the Jaleesa logo on it and also there's a little hanger that you can use to store your wig yeah but this wig is absolutely gorgeous I did request it to have the um, lace already cut off and it does have combs it has the adjustable strap it really does fit very snugly now this has human hair attached to it the human hair are the curly boho area around the perimeter is all human hair so if you need to curl it or you want to curl it you'll be able to do that and i really like my wispy hairs i don't really can't call them baby hairs but i like mine very wispy around the front but yeah you can run your fingers right through it it doesn't tangle and that's because of the human hair factor so it doesn't tangle and then we're just going to cut this tag off and we're going to get started with this review. I had a few other braid wigs, but this one's my favorite, primarily because it is made with human hair. The braid itself is not human hair, but everything else is human hair. The curly ends are human, around the perimeter is human hair, and the curly pieces that represent the whole boho style those are human as well so i'm just going to take my little cap off i do wear a band like a little um perimeter band but i'm not even sure if i'm going to need it with this wig because it really does i did try it on and it really does fit very well i'm just adjusting the straps and we're going to put it right on and check it out Yeah, and that's the human hair that's all around the perimeter, including around the back. So we're just going to put this on and we're going to go from there. And I'm just adjusting it to make sure that the middle part is actually in the middle. And just tucking the band under and this is what it looks like right out of the pack. So now what I'm going to do is just... I'm going to try to sculpt these baby hairs. You guys know I'm not really big on baby hair. And underneath, this is color for the lace. And I'll put a link to it down in the information area. But it's from Red. I forget the rest of the name of the, um, the product. And I have my little edge band. And I have a this is my new go-to for melting the perimeter it's lace bond and it's a spray but i'll put a link to that in the information area as well so you can definitely check that out so i'm just looking for my little tools that i need now this has quite a bit of baby hair along the sides you can just kind of sculpt them and mold them if that's what you want to do and it's already cut so i'm glad about that because sometimes i'm just not really good at cutting and then it has like the little sideburn area so i'm just going to clip it up spray a little bit of that bonding spray and this one i like it because you can place it under the lace or on top of it and it works either way so here you see me just putting a bit of that spray right on the perimeter and this dries super super fast that's one of the reasons I really do like this product is the fact that it dries very quickly and again I'm gonna mold down this side just to put it in place until I put the little elastic band on it 
and a little right there across the front. You're going to see in a minute, I'm going to remove a lot of that baby hair because it just doesn't look good on me. And I know you girls are good at the sculpting, but for me, I like the least amount of hair on the perimeter as possible. So yeah, you see me just putting on my little elastic band and I'm just pressing that down because I don't really even want to be bothered with the bolo dryer. We really don't even need it. So I'm just kind of moving those hairs back a little bit. So now we're going to leave this on for about 10 minutes until I know that the hair is the way I want it to be around the perimeter. So I'm just reading on the back and definitely I will put a link to this spray right down in the information area. This is now my go-to. I don't really use anything else. I don't use anything that has like the the little glue part of it I really don't like that because it's actually too much work and it's hard to get off if you spray it and put it in the wrong place so yeah I had to move my little band back a little bit just to fix that area because I noticed it just didn't have enough product on it so I'm lifting that up and putting a bit of the spray right on top and like I said this really dries super super quick so we don't even really need the blow dryer. You can definitely use the blow dryer if you choose, but you don't really even need it. So we're just securing that. And like I said, we're gonna leave this on for about 10 minutes until it dries. I said five, but I actually meant 10. So as you can see, I'm still pressing it into place and just adjusting my earrings a little bit. But yeah, we're gonna get started and let it just dry. But this wig really does work really well and it's super lightweight, it's not very heavy. So now let's just take that band off and see what we're working with. I am going to go back in and take a lot of that baby hair out even along the sides because it just is not something that I really absolutely love or have to have. So I'm just molding it down now with a little bit of mousse just to sculpt it just a little bit more. And that's just until I remove it because I'm definitely either gonna tweeze it out or just do a little pulling on that and then that way I don't even have to worry about the rest of the baby hair. And there I am just sculpting the side and getting that sideburn together. but it takes me a while simply because I'm really not one that's big on the baby hairs. So now I just wanted to show you that you can sculpt it, but if you don't want the baby hair, you don't really even have to use it because it really does look quite natural without having to even like do all that sculpting. You can just remove that hair and it looks just as natural. So now I'm gonna just go in and get rid of those baby hairs right across the front. As you can see, I was contemplating, thinking about it, figuring out if I just wanted to get rid of them and I did get rid of most of them. And since the hairs are attached to the lace, they're easy to remove. So I just kind of did a little bit of pulling and I used my comb just to thin them out as I was pulling because I really do not like a lot of baby hair. I really don't like any actually. So yeah, there you see me still trying to sculpt it. And instead of all that, I'm just gonna do some pulling and get rid of that baby hair. It's so easy to remove, especially if you're someone like me who doesn't really like a lot of baby hair. There we have it. So let me just show you the parting. And by being full lace, you get the benefit of the entire scalp. And that is just perfect. And even with my little band on, you can't really see it. You don't really even need the band because it is such a great fit. But yeah, there we are with my new boho braids and these I'll put the length that I purchased down in the information area I didn't get them 36 inches because all that sitting on my hair is just not a good thing for me 
So yeah, I'm going to get rid of that little bit of baby hair. And sometimes you don't really see what's happening until you go back and look at the footage. Yeah, but there we have it. This wig is absolutely beautiful and it's so, so easy to work with. There's a little still pick, another still pick of the scalp. I just wanted you to really have an opportunity to see the whole thing. I'll put a link to it right down in the information area. And if I can get a coupon code for you, I'll get that as well.